In Riemannian geometry, the fundamental theorem of Riemannian geometry states that on any Riemannian manifold or pseudo-Riemannian manifold, there is a unique torsion-free metric connection called the Levi-Civita connection of the given metric. Here a metric or Riemannian connection is a connection which preserves the metric tensor. More precisely, fundamental theorem of Riemannian geometry let M, G be a Riemannian manifold or pseudo-Riemannian manifold. Then there is a unique connection which satisfies the following conditions. For any vector fields x, y, z we have x, y, z equals x, y, z plus Y X Z displaystyle partial underscore X Langle Y Z Wrangle equals Langle Nabla underscore X Y Z Wrangle plus Langle Y Nabla underscore X Z Wrangle where X Y Z Display style partial underscore x langle y z wrangle denotes the derivative of the function y z display style langle y z wrangle along vector field x dot for any vector fields x y x y minus y X equals X Y display style nabla underscore X Y nabla underscore Y X equals X Y where X Y denotes the Lie bracket for vector fields X Y. The first condition means that the metric tensor is preserved by parallel transport, while the second condition expresses the fact that the torsion of is zero. An extension of the fundamental theorem states that given a pseudo-Riemannian manifold there is a unique connection preserving the metric tensor with any given vector valued to form as its torsion. The difference between an arbitrary connection with torsion and the corresponding Levi-Civita connection is the contortion tensor. The following technical proof presents a formula for Christoffel symbols of the connection in a local coordinate system. For a given metric this set of equations can become rather complicated. There are quicker and simpler methods to obtain the Christoffel symbols for a given metric, e.g. using the action integral and the associated Euler-Lagrange equations. <laughs> Geodesics defined by a metric or a connection A metric defines the curves which are geodesics, but a connection also defines the geodesics see also parallel transport. A connection bar nabla is said to be equal to another nabla in two different ways. Obviously if x y equals x y display style bar nabla underscore x y equals nabla underscore x y for every vector's fields x y display style x y if display style nabla and Display style bar nabla. Define the same geodesics and have the same torsion. This means that two different connections can lead to the same geodesics while giving different results for some vector fields. 
because a metric also defines the geodesics of a differential manifold. For some metric, there is not only one connection defining the same geodesics. Some examples can be found of a connection on R three. Display style math b r caret three, leading to the straight lines as geodesics, but having some torsion in contrary to the trivial connection on r three. Display style math b r caret three i.e. the usual directional derivative, and given a metric, the only connection which defines the same geodesics which leaves the metric unchanged by parallel transport and which is torsion-free is the Levi-Civita connection which is obtained from the metric by differentiation. <laughs> Proof of the theorem Let M be the dimension of M and, in some local chart, consider the standard coordinate vector fields I equals X I I equals 1 M Display style partial underscore i equals frac partial partial x caret i q quad i equals one dots m. Locally, the entry g i j of the metric tensor is then given by g i j equals i j. Display style g underscore i j equals left langle partial underscore i partial underscore j right wrangle. To specify the connection, it is enough to specify for all i j and k i j k. Display style left langle nabla underscore partial underscore i partial underscore j partial underscore k right wrangle. We also recall that locally a connection is given by M three smooth functions gamma l i j. Display style left gamma caret l underscore i j right, where i j equals l gamma i j l l. Display style nabla underscore partial underscore i partial underscore j equals sum underscore l gamma underscore i j caret l partial underscore l. The torsion-free property means i j equals j i. Display style nabla underscore partial underscore i partial underscore j equals nabla underscore partial underscore j partial underscore i. On the other hand, compatibility with the Riemannian metric implies that k g i j equals k i j plus i k j display style partial underscore k g underscore i j equals left langle nabla underscore partial underscore k partial underscore i partial underscore j wrangle plus langle partial underscore i nabla underscore partial underscore k partial underscore j right wrangle for a fixed i j and k permutation gives three equations with six unknowns the torsion free assumption reduces the number of variables to 3 solving the resulting system of three linear equations gives unique solutions i 
j k equals 1 2 i g j k minus k g i j plus j g i k Display style left Langle Nabla underscore partial underscore I partial underscore J partial underscore K right Wrangle equals TFRAC one two left partial underscore I G underscore J K partial underscore K G underscore I J plus partial underscore J G underscore Ick right This is the first Christoffel identity since i j k equals gamma i j l g l k Display style left Langle Nabla underscore partial underscore I partial underscore J partial underscore K right Wrangle equals Gamma underscore I J carrot L G underscore L K where we use Einstein summation convention. That is, an index repeated subscript and superscript implies that it is summed over all values. Inverting the metric tensor gives the second Christoffel identity gamma i j l equals one two i g j k minus k g i j plus j g i k g k l Display style gamma underscore i j caret l equals t f r a c one two left partial underscore i g underscore j k partial underscore k g underscore i j plus partial underscore j g underscore ik right g caret k l. Once again, with Einstein summation convention. The resulting unique connection is called the Levi-Civita connection. Topic: The Cauchoule formula. An alternative proof of the fundamental theorem of Riemannian geometry proceeds by showing that a torsion-free metric connection on a Riemannian manifold is necessarily given by the Cauchoule formula. 2 g x y z equals x g y z plus y g x z minus z g x y plus g x y z minus g x z y minus g y z x dot 
Display style begin array ll two grams nabla underscore x y z and equals partial underscore x g y z plus partial underscore y g x z partial underscore z g x y end quad plus g x y z g x z y g y z x end array. This proves the unique of the levi savita connection. Existence is proven by showing that this expression is tensorial in X and Z, satisfies the Leibniz rule in Y, and that hence defines a connection. This is a metric connection, because the symmetric part of the formula in Y and Z is the first term on the first line, it is torsion-free because the anti-symmetric part of the formula in X and Y is the first term on the second line. See also Nash embedding theorem